Good morning, Philadelphia, and thank you for tuning in for today's topic, which is uh, my response to the whole Philadelphia Eagles trip being canceled by Donald Trump to go visit the White House following our Super Bowl championship victory. It's a lot to be said about what's going on, but it's going to be a little bit of a different kind of video because part about growing up and being a man is taking ownership, uh, not just of what other people are doing and saying, but what I do and say myself, because ultimately that's what I have control over anyway. So my response to the whole canceling of the White House uh, almost has nothing to do with other people and more to do with what I learned about myself uh, through this situation. <laughs> and today I'm pretty much going to put myself on blast, but anybody that's seen this channel uh, and knows me as a person knows that if I'm going to do something, yeah, I'm going to make mistakes in the process, but I'm going to be 100% real. That being said, after the dump truck goes by, This whole situation uh, shed a light on my own life and how wrong I was handling the entire situation and communicating about that uh, to my subscribers here on YouTube. Because I picked out a couple points of what I wanted to see uh, from other people's actions and I'm pretty much going to map out why I think that was a wrong idea to do in the first place and it, it showed that I was off base. I had three major points, the reason why I thought uh, the players should have went down or at least tried to extend themselves to go down and visit President Trump. And it was really, one of them was centered around doing things as a team. The other one was uh, you extending the handshake regardless if somebody's going to extend it back. And the last one is challenging somebody to love the way that God wants them to love. <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong. Like, you have to understand the heart of the message was there and I, I meant good intentions for it but let me break it down for you so hopefully you learn from my mistakes first up the team what I tried to highlight is why they should all do it as a team you know how we overcame so many different odds and obstacles as a team and we should continue to do that at the White House. And the reason why <laughs> I believe at this time that that was wrong to even say is who am I, an outsider of the team? I, I don't play for the Eagles, I'm a nutcase fan, but I don't play for the Eagles. But So am I really in the locker room as much? Do I really know and understand the dynamic and the relationship all the players have with each other? Uh, do I leave the option open potentially that that's one of the things that made them so successful is that every individual was respected as his own man and was allowed to make his own decisions on what he was going to do and he was going to invest and the other people respected each other and so that created a different kind of mutual relationship that helped them be successful in the team when they all decided about football to work together towards that common cause, because they all believe the same thing, believe the same way. And they say, hey look, it's not gonna be like that with everything, but we respect that. So hey look, if you don't wanna go down to the White House, you don't gotta go down to the White House. I respect you as a man, your decisions I respect. I'm not gonna sit there and judge that. So potentially, if they do that on the team internally, who in the world am I as a fan to sit there and try to judge relationships that I don't understand or know about? That's wrong, that's just flat out wrong. And you'll be worried about that, right? The other one, or the other two really, and, and I highlighted it before, so I'm gonna say it again. I really took like the Christian uh, mentality outlook on their decision, right? And kind of piggybacking off of the first point, who am I to judge somebody else's Christian walk? 
you know, we, we all have our purpose. We all have our goals and we all have the direction that we believe that we're supposed to go in and we're supposed to have a personal relationship with big man upstairs and he's supposed to direct us, not other people. I'm gonna be sitting here judging somebody else's Christian wall, <laughs> saying you're not loving the way that God wants you to love if you don't go down to the White House? Really? You're not extending the invitation to other people the way you're supposed to be in extending if you don't go to the White House? White House? Really? That ain't true. And I'm gonna highlight a little bit more why I understood that was true by Malcolm Jenkins. And how I treated that completely wrong. <laughs> like I told you, that I'm gonna put myself on blast. This sucks, but it's true, it's honest, and that, that's how I roll, so. That's just flat out wrong. Because if you look at it, Malcolm Jenkins, a couple days ago, had an interview at his locker. An interview where he didn't say a word. All he did was help hold up signs. Talking about the, the certain facts of the injustice that he's been fighting for. And yeah, he held up signs that had numbers, had words, and all, all sorts of information. But one of the things that hit home for me was the sign that he held up when people asked, why is he not even talking? He's just holding up these signs. He said, because you guys aren't listening. And I have to say, I'm included in that. I've made more comments so far on this channel about what Malcolm Jenkins should be doing, whether it's his response to the national anthem and either standing, sitting, putting my fist, whatever like that, and his actions going to the White House, then I've made about what he's truly trying to do with the injustice, which I believe in. I like Malcolm Jenkins. I, I like what he's trying to do about the injustice, but I've only invested in this, judging him on what he's not doing or what I think he should be doing in other things. And that means I'm missing the point. I'm missing the point of what he's trying to say in the first place, which means if I'm one of those people, essentially I've been part of the problem and I don't want to be there. We have 168 hours a week to do what we think is necessary in this life to make a difference and to make a change. And part of what I want to do, including with this channel, is not be another person that's just commenting on how somebody else is living because all that means is I'm being reactive to somebody else's life. I'm sitting around waiting for somebody else to live and I'm gonna make a comment on how they're living and judge the mess out of it. Which means I'm also not spending time living myself and pushing forward the agendas I have, not just for myself, but for my city, to do something positive in this world. And that's wrong, that's not how I wanna live. I don't wanna be one of those, those type of analysts or something that's is just all talk. That's not good. Because what I believe I'm trying to build with here is learning that we have things to learn, things to do, things to share in faith. And I have yet, in instances like Malcolm Jenkins and Chris Long and all these other people, I mean, think about it. Malcolm Jenkins is putting his money where his mouth is. I mean, he saw what happened to Colin, Colin Kaepernick when he stood up for what he believed in. And he's lost his livelihood of something that he's done his entire life in playing football. Look at Chris Long, he put his money where his mouth is. He played an entire football season and then donated his entire check towards something that he believed in, in education. So, uh, <laughs> I think they're all in on their thoughts and ideas and I applaud that, commend that, but now it's my turn, especially if I believe in overcoming the injustice, if I do believe in education. There are people out there, and these are good examples of people that are actually doing something, and now I need to take the time to humble myself, to learn, so I can figure out what I need to do to support that and then share it with other people in faith that he's got us in a direction that's gonna lead this city in a positive light. So I'm gonna end this video like this today. Malcolm Jenkins, Chris Long, even like Brandon Graham, Tory Smith, all the guys on the Eagles, whoever, Carson Wentz, you had thoughts and you had ideas and I have to be real with you, I didn't listen yet.
but now I want to. Now I'm prepared, now my heart's soft, now I'm humble to the point that I want to learn. So, Malcolm Jenkins, you, you're about trying to overcome these injustices. Please help me learn. Where can I find more information on the things that you've been researching, things that you believe in, and I want to figure out how I can support it for the things I, that I understand. Chris Long, you're about education to my understanding. Help me learn more about it. Pass me a website, pass me information, pass me whatever I need to do to learn more about it. Because you know what? I want my city to be educated. I want people to have opportunity. I want them to be able to take that education to the workplace and to use that to help other people. So Chris Long, if you can pass information to me and how I can read and learn more about your cause as well. And any other Philadelphia Eagle, this is directed at you right now, but I want to also extend this in the future to other Philadelphians. But right now, any Philadelphia Eagle, I am now shutting up and listening. Please put comments down in the bottom. I want you to post it there, not just for me, but for the other people that watch this channel. Right now, it's over the thousand people. And help me grow, and help me learn as a man, and help me give my best to this city, to the people, through this channel, and through my life, for what I'm going to continue to do in a positive way here in Philadelphia. So there you have it. That's the truth and how I'm, I intend on living. I've made mistakes. I'm willing to own them, fess up to them, but it's time to do something different because I desire a different result. I hope you guys have a great day, great weekend. I'm looking forward to responses. And I'm looking forward to the future of my Philadelphia Eagles and my city on and off the field. Have a blessed day and go birds.